Hey, what's up guys? I'm Evan. Today we're going to be looking at React Navigation's Tab Navigator. That's right, actually educational content this time. If you're not familiar with React Navigation, it is the go-to solution for navigation in React Native. It is absolutely incredible. I love this library. It is uh, very popular too, which is why we're making this video. I will have the docs linked below. It's very straightforward. The other reason I'm making this video. Now, React Navigation is maintained by the illustrious Brent Vatney. Ah! Fun fact about Brent, you can follow his dog on Instagram right here. I actually meant to do the side of my face right here. All right, so over here, I have an example of one of the two navigators that we're going to, that we're going to be looking at today. The first navigator that we're going to be looking at is the very basic kind of generic navigator that you're probably familiar with. You've probably seen it in a lot of apps. We can just click between the screens very simply like that and the tint color changes. Neato. And the second navigator that we're going to be looking at is the Material Tab Navigator. It's super beautiful, absolutely love this navigator. Uh, it works amazingly well. It's part of the React Native paper group of libraries maintained by the amazing Satya, super duper Satya as we like to call him. With any React Navigation project for mobile, the first thing you need to do is export this create app container. This is, it just links like the back handler to the navigation and other various things like that. You're going to import create app container from React Navigation, very simple. Now that we have that out of the way, let's look at the actual navigator. The first thing that you're going to do after that other first thing, this next first thing is import create bottom tab navigator from react navigation this is to get this generic tab navigator that we got down here it's just a function like any other of the create navigators in the react navigation suite the first object is going to define the screens that we are going to use inside of the navigator the key value pairing denotes what the screen will be called and which component it will use uh, as that screen so for instance we have first right here we could pass it in like this or we could wrap it in an object and send in screen like that. And let's take a look at one of these screens. Now a screen could be a function or a component. All that matters is that it is JSX or you know this HTML stuff that React has. So here I'm just exporting a class which extends the React component. And I've got some JSX here, a linear gradient and a text element. And then to define how the actual screen is presented in the navigator we're going to use this static property navigation options now this is a very powerful item this could be an object you could also pass it in as a function with navig options and that prop will help you do things to actually create the icon we're using the tab bar icon property and then we're going to pass in any kind of jsx again uh, the most common thing that people do is they export a icon from material icons or ector vector Expo vector icons library. Here we're just using a material design icon. You could use Ionicons, Font Awesome, and other things as well. And then this tab bar color property is going to be used in the second thing. I just couldn't be bothered to pull it out for this first example. And the label is what we can use to define this label down here. If you don't define this property, then the key that you use to define the screen, which is like this thing, for instance, first. That is what we'll use for the title. So now it's first, second, and third because we commented out that label. Now the second property in the Create Navigator franchise is going to be another object. This object is going to define how the navigator works. So you have a bunch of properties here. I'm not gonna go down all of them, but I will go down a bunch of them to fill and pad the video for time. The first one that we can do is initial route name. This will set the initial route name to the third. It's just whatever the screen is. These also appear in whatever order you define them in. So for instance, now it's first, third, and second. Interesting, I guess. But if you actually want to define how the tab bar looks, you're going to need this object tab bar options inside of your navigation options. As you may have guessed, now I'm going to go down them one by one, listing off what they do in chronological order. The first one is the active tint color. So you see here I have changed the active tint color to the color orange. The next one's the inactive tint color. I have changed it here to blue. And now we've set the active background color. That's interesting, isn't it? And now I've set the inactive, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and turn them all on except for these two. So here we have the label style. This is going to define how the text looks. We have the tab style. This is going to be the style for each individual tab object. Uh, as you can see, it's already just looking absolutely beautiful. Then the style property, which is going to define the style for the entire uh, tab bar view. As you can see here, I've just added a purple 
lying around them. And then these last two props are probably ones that you'll end up using. We have show label, which is going to either show or not show the label. By default, these are both toggled on. And then this next one is the show icon boolean. If we flip that to false, the icon will not be shown. All right, so that about covers it for the create bottom tab navigator. Now we're going to look at the material stuff. I was actually going to put this in another video, but I didn't want to make two thumbnails. So let's talk about the Material Tab Navigator. So as I showed you earlier, it's just absolutely beautiful. It animates around like so. The label comes in, the icon lifts up, and the, the color fills out. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, absolute. To define the color inside of the screens, what we're going to do is set the tab bar color property to whatever color here. I'm just setting it as the first color of the gradient that I'm using. And then we set the label if we want to define the label. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn that off. And it's going to use the keys of the screens. So first, second, third, you can count. All right, so to use the create material bottom tab navigator, you need to import it from a library which is not React Navigation. Uh, it's called React Navigation Material Bottom Tabs. This library is part of the React Native Paper grouping of libraries, which is the material design library for React Native. It's absolutely incredible. I love it. Now, just like any of the other navigation functions, it's going to work the same way. The first object is going to be the keys and the values denoting the screen and the name of the screen. And the second object is going to define the actual functionality of the navigator. Now, there are two things that you should know about material navigation. The first one being that if you have three or less screens, the shifting functionality, which is all that animation, will not be enabled by default. So it will just work like this. That is part of the material design spec. Now the second one, you've probably already guessed it because you're sitting there saying, Evan, the material design spec specifies that the navigation interaction should always be on the top of the screen and not the bottom. What is this nonsense? And you're right. If you wanna do a top navigator, you're going to need to import a separate function from React Navigation actually. And that function is create material top tab navigator. So just support that if you want the thing at the, the top of the screen. So let's go ahead and look at some of the configuration that we can define. And again, the links for this particular library will be down below. The first prop that we're going to look at is labeled. You can set this to false if you don't want the labels to show up. Now what's really nice about this is that it will disable the sliding up navigation effect. So it's just really beautiful and it, it works out of the box. The next thing we have is the active and inactive coloring. Uh, as you can see here, I've just set them to blue and yellow. And then something that we've had enabled this whole time is the bar style. Now the bar style is akin to the style prop of the create bottom tab navigator. This will define the style of this general view here. So you see, I'm just setting the, the I'm, there's a, a line here at the top of the thing. Anyways guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. If you like this video, be sure to leave some uh, claps in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.